Kara. I'm here with Jason Ritter. Hi. And we just had a long conversation, a we good did. conversation, I think. Yes, I think so too. So why do you think people will want to listen to us? Uh, I think uh, it's, uh, t if you like listening to two people talk, have an honest conversation, and if you like us, then uh, you will want to listen to it. And you're going to like him no matter what, I yeah, assure like you. you. <laughs> All right, so Jason, do you get recognized when you go places? Do people know who you are? Um, not, every once in a while, it, it's like, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it never feels um, like, uh, you know, it's not like the Beatles where I'm running down the street <laughs> trying to get away. Um, yeah, it's actually just enough to make me paranoid. Like, every once in a while, I'll see people and they'll be like, and then I'll be like, I know what that means in high school. Are they teasing me? Are they talking about me? Um, so it's very subtle like that. And do they tell you if they were Team Mark or Team Hank? Sometimes they do, yes. Sometimes they do. And, what and do they, they tell say? me both. They <laughs> they, do. They're like, uh, yeah, if, if they're Team Hank, they have a, like a sort of an apology. They're like, I, I liked him better. And then other people are like, I was Team Mark all the way. It's like, either one is great. What's your favorite show? <laughs> My favorite show oh, of all time? Yeah, of all time, of all time, exactly. Oh gosh, I don't know why I said that. That just why. <laughs> that means it's all hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed I'm buying time. You're gonna come up with something. Just yeah, I, I am. I promise. Arrive I in your head. <laughs> yes. Okay, so one of the I bet I bet you can name one of your favorite movies though. Yes, I can name one of my favorite movies, uh, The Knights of Cabiria. It's a, a, a Fellini movie with um, Julieta Messina where she basically uh, plays this woman who continues to believe in love even when all the evidence is pointing to the opposite. Okay. Very beautiful. What is uh, one of your guilty pleasures? Uh, well, I, we did talk a little bit that I, I like the Bachelor franchise. I, I never thought I would say that, but I, yeah, I got sucked in and then they just, it just doesn't let you go. So that is a, I definitely feel a lot of guilt, but also a lot of pleasure. <laughs> That's a guilty pleasure. Yes, exactly. So, uh, do you have any pet peeves? Things you can't stand? Um, things I can't stand, uh, oh, yes, yeah, my biggest pet peeve is generally when, uh, I see someone talking to somebody else and they've made an assumption that they are a better or more worthy human being than the person that they're talking to. And they're just being a little dismissive and a little gross. And you can like see that. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 can, yeah. yeah. What's the first thing that you do when you wake up? First thing I do when I wake up is I go to the coffee machine and I get a little cup of coffee. Uh huh. Do you eat breakfast? No. I eventually eat breakfast. Usually I eat breakfast by the time uh, my stomach has started to eat itself and I feel crazy and I'm like, what's happening? What's going on with me? And then it's just because I'm hungry. Okay. And what's one of your favorite things to do in the middle of the day if you have the opportunity? In the middle of the day, recently I've liked going on little hikes. Just uh, putting on some shoes and just not anywhere like special, just outside of my house and just around the street and there's all these hills everywhere and I see how far I can go and explore. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, what's one of the things that you do before bed? What's your routine? Uh, oh, I probably just look at my phone for <laughs> hours if I'm being honest. I mean, I brush my teeth and I do all that stuff, but I look at my phone until it drops and then I go, oh, okay, I should probably go to sleep. So really, literally, I do look a lot sleeping. of. Yeah, I've done that sometimes. All right. So, well, well, what's tired. your relationship with your phone? It's uh, an unhealthy uh, obsession. Like everybody. <laughs> I think like everybody. Although my screen time was down last week. Oh, so you check 6%. it? You set it and you check it? Yeah, it 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 pops up on my little screen. I was like, hey, where were you? <laughs> you you only were on your screen six hours today. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Twitter, you are. What are you, what's going on with you on Twitter? What are you up to on Twitter? Because you definitely have a presence there. Oh, thanks. I, on Twitter, I, well, <clears throat> recently I do a lot of just liking. I, I've gotten into this phase of Twitter where there are so many very important conversations happening all the time. And I know that everyone has a different feed. And if someone follows me, they're saying I will see one of your tweets. But I always feel like I'm inter interrupting a much more important conversation with like a dumb joke. So I don't want people to be like, this is important and we need to fix this right now. And I'm like, here's a little pun. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> keep, and now, but more importantly, the, every, what everyone else is saying. <laughs> so, so I, I do a lot of like liking and following people and reading and learning. So very pleasant things, actually. For the most part. Positive. Yeah. Because Twitter can be a little negative at times. Twitter can be very but negative. But you use it in a more positive way. I try to use like it in a more upbeat. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, I think it's important to read the heavier stuff, um, but I also feel like I would not. I don't know. There's lots of conversations that I'm like, there are people who are much smarter and more articulate than me about these particular things, and let me just favorite and retweet them instead of trying to be like, you know what I think is blah, blah, blah. What are some of the missteps that you've made in your life? Oh, some of the missteps that I've made. Um, there have been quite a few. Um, I think I spent a long time not trusting myself, uh, not <clears throat> like sort of doing what I thought someone wanted me to do or uh, as opposed to measuring against myself and what I wanted. And so I've like done something for somebody and then like blown up in an explosion of resentment. And they're like, but you said you wanted to. And I was like, you wanted me to. And you're like, but you said that you wanted to. And they're like, that's a fair point. Uh, I've put us both in this situation. So I think... I think some of my missteps are, are like not being honest from the outset in a particular situation. Being like, this is, I think, this is what you want to hear, so I'm gonna say that until we're both angry at me. And what is one of the moments in your life, big or small, that you will never forget? Oh boy. You could even name two or three if that actually takes the pressure off yeah. thinking of the, <laughs> the ultimate one. one. Most you know what memorable I mean? thing. Yeah. Um, gosh, I think I think one of the most memorable thing well, the most memorable thing was the birth of my daughter. What was I? What else was I going to say? Of Gosh. course. How would you describe it? And this show. And this show is second most memorable. Right again. <laughs> describe the birth, the, that moment, the birth of your daughter. Uh, it just, it was, it was uh, wild. I mean, it, it like the, your focus shifts from me and my parents and, you know, my, like my friends and my, to I am this person's father this person is counting on me this is now the new sort of center of the of of my thought process that's major it is major <laughs> your favorite show oh yes my favorite we show. mustn't forget that uh my favorite show is the wire I haven't seen The Wire. I, oh, I just wow. I know that I should have seen The Wire by this point. Um, but it probably will be my favorite show when I see it. That's what I hear happens. That's what I hear, too. Yeah, You That's haven't seen an, it either? No, I did. I did. I tried. This show I tried okay. three different times. Oh, really? Because it was recommended so highly by yeah. people who I so respect. Yeah, it's the greatest show of all time. That's what That's I That's what they yeah. say. Yeah. But I tried, I tried, try, tried so hard. It didn't. I it couldn't didn't. do it. No. I'll say it. I'll just, I figured it out. All One right. of my favorite shows, and I don't care what people say, is Lost. Yes! I'm with you. And I know that people were like, oh, it didn't all make sense. It was such a fun journey, and the characters were so great. And sometimes I still sit around and I go, I wonder what Jack and Sawyer are, and uh, Kate are all doing right now. And Hurley, where are they? I mean, they're in Well, heaven. Hurley's in the van, I Hurley's, feel yeah, like. I guess, driving yeah, that's somewhere true. uncontrollable yeah, with exactly. the van. Yeah. But I would definitely like to revisit everyone. And it was brilliantly done. Yeah. So well acted, uh, right? Maybe so not fun. everything about it was perfect, but the flaws make it more beautiful. Exactly, exactly. Lost. Like we talked about. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>